It's called Imagongo Art, and it uses a very interesting ingredient. 50% cow dung, 50% ash. Ash. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it is starting to rain, but Coach Theo is here working with the kids. Woo! Janae's waiting for her turn. You know I can do some of this if there's one of basketball. So nice. Janae has discovered a great love for basketball. Whoa! <laughs> Today we're doing a traditional Rwandan art project. It's called Imagongo Art and it uses a very interesting ingredient. This is Imagongo Art. So what they do, it's so awesome. So they take cow poop or cow dung and they mix it with charcoal and then ash or something like that, and they mold it into like different like shapes like that, and then you wait till it dries, and then you paint it, and it's so pretty. So this is a banana leaf football. So this is what the kids use in the villages in the countryside to play football. It's banana leaves wrapped up, and then they use another thing from the bananas to tie it up. So it took the cow down and mixed it with ash. They mixed, he took the mixture and started adding the mixture on the lines he drew on the wall. On the wall. Where does he get? I'm a slave, he has a lot of cows. Cow dung. This is homemade. 50% cow dung, 50% ash. Ash. We're excited. The ash deals with the smell. Do any of you smell cow dung? Because I don't smell it. We're getting ready to work with the cow dung, putting on some aprons. We're getting ready to make our traditional Imagongo designs. <laughs> Very symmetrical. So first they're drawing on the canvas what they're gonna wanna do. Kendra asked how you make a circle, a banana leaf compass. You can do it if you want. It's like clay, and it smells really bad. <laughs> Cause it's not clay. So we're looking at some examples of ones that other people have made. I'm gonna go for this design. I like that one a lot. It's pretty simple. You could do it as a sun with a rainbow. Isaac just realized he wants to change his whole concept. Okay. So I had a zigzag and I was gonna do the same thing the other direction. So what do you want to do now? Okay. But now I'm going to be creating a basketball. Oh. Yummy. Sure. <laughs> Yummy? <laughs> Attach your cowdown on the lines you made. Wow. Mm -hmm. To be like that. All the kids have just dived in. The I'm wishing I had gloves. No. Mom does not want to touch the poop, but I can't judge her because I don't either. Like, you kind of get used to it. Yeah? Once you start using it, you it's just, just like get clay. Used to it. Yeah. I'm having a hard time conquering my uh, mental block. I have no block against touching poo, so if we had a lot of children and a lot of diapers wiped, so. But I always have wipes on. Okay. So like getting some extra help. It's important that the spine be about the same height all the way along. You're good at this. <laughs> Isaac's looking for inspiration. Good job. Like the same level around. Yeah. And I don't make it hard. Yeah. Jeremy's taking a turn to work on my design with me. I just feel like, you know, in our marriage, if it's related to chocolate, I do it. If it's related to poop, he kind of shines there. Jeremy did not hesitate. He just dived right in. I'm in my... Isn't it fun? <laughs> I am having a hard time. Like, I... <laughs> Oh, you just gotta do it. Embrace it. 
Yeah. Don't be scared. You've got this. Yeah. Isaac's yeah. feeling a little hesitant so as well. So do I get water first and then pick it up? No, so you make a little caterpillar and you put it on and you knit. And then yeah. pretend we're playing with... I'm so proud of you, Isaac. Can I make a clay then? Way to touch poo. <laughs> Something I never thought I'd hear you say. You know, today's a funny day. Nice I work. don't think I'll have an appetite for the rest of the day, and I don't think I'll want to be around cows. I'm definitely not going to go eat any finger food right away. Just touch the food one day. Actually, that would be a waste. Hey, that's looking great. My problem is I like making the mounds too big. They're like, <laughs> lower it down. I'm a natural. <laughs> Are you a natural at Imagongo art? Who knows, maybe your profession in life is to make poop baskets. I bet Michelangelo would have shined on this. Did you know what he just said? If you make it too high, it breaks. So when you're painting, you don't want it to be too big. I finished my mountain. You did. Your my mountain of poop. As you can imagine, our poop jokes are going strong today. So he mixes the cow dung and the ash <coughs> together like that. He just hand. needs it. <gasps> like um, yeah. first the technique is to make something like this. Can you see the small, small snake like this? Yeah, like a little yeah, caterpillar. Small, small. That one is bigger. Cow dung for you. He's explaining to us that traditional Rwandan art is fun. It's not about it being perfect, yeah. it's about enjoying the process. Janae has finished her initial design of a sun and the mountains. She's wanting to do more. I did it for Daddy. Arizona. Yeah. Are you going to add a cactus? I think that basketball is great. Kayla, I'm loving it. Kendra decided she does want to come in and work with the dunk. I'm just telling myself it is brown clay. Completely it's not clay that smells like gum. It's not cow poop. It's ash with poop. Mom. And it's brown clay. Just make sure to get the liquid in there. Yeah. So I did just try to wash my hands. Did it not work? You just, it's like, you can't feel like it ever is done. And then it's, you look at your fingernails and it's like, I don't think I got it all. But we'll keep washing many more times for the rest of the day. Kayla, this is really impressive. <laughs> so you're... poop isn't normally my identity, but I think I'm going to be called the poop girl now, but... Yeah, she, you've adopted it as your primary identity. It's not really my MO. Your hands are way cleaner than mine were. I, it's on purpose. <laughs> yeah, you like, limit <laughs> the exposure. My goal is to dive in and try everything on this trip, so I'm glad I tried it, but I'd also tried to stay as clean as possible. Uh, you do kind of wish it was more of a like full-fledged shower bathing situation. I think Laura gets cleanest hands award. Show Let's see your hands. hands. <laughs> what? I think I get dirtiest hands award. Yeah. No, I know. No, I know. <laughs> Some of us really like to get into it. You guys, I am so impressed. It's all coming together. I'm really proud of the kids. A couple of our kids wanted to come and see the experience but told me beforehand they were not touching the cow dung and I said that's totally fine you know there's gonna be an expert there I'm sure they can help us with the workshop and then as soon as we got here they all just dived in and they've all gotten involved and I'm really proud of them because I know how hard it is like my mental all right now you're just playing with it <laughs> I'm done good job Isaac I'm happy with mine. It's simple, and I feel like it's going to turn out pretty well. And it was meaningful to you. <laughs> like, Rwanda has definitely been a time of basketball. Oh. Mine is a wave, because it's, I'm putting the Puerto Rico into the Rwanda. You're bringing Puerto Rico to the poo. Yeah. I don't know how, but I think I got poop on my feet. <laughs> I think you did. You got a little juiciness down there. Let's wipe your little poo juice off. It's been kind of a rainy day, but these kids are down there playing football. So we are at Hand Spun Hope for an experience-based hand-on tour of how they weave things here. Wow. Yeah, after dying, I'm oh, measuring it, and then she's winding it up to make it like yeah. this. Show you? Well, we're going to practice it. It has the full screen. This is like... 
like in uh, Sleeping Beauty? Yeah. The spindle. So what's really fun about this place is it's a co-op and they make all of these amazing things, but we're gonna get to try it ourselves. I have never seen a fluffier rabbit in my life. <laughs> I didn't know rabbits. This were rabbits. I thought they were small. Yeah, they're small. Oh, the poor bunny. So they shear they the, these shear bunnies. The bunnies. Oh my goodness, Jeremy. Oh, it's so big. It's so fast. Its eyes are so scary. What kind of a bunny is this? This is Angora bunny. They're Angora bunnies. I love yeah. it. Janae's holding the and bunny. And love, and love. Mm. She's it's got him. Big. <laughs> it's so big. I'm naming you guys all Fluffball. She's doing it all herself. Uh -oh. She's naming them all Fluffball. Oh, Fluff that's a good name. Oh. Fluffy and Fluffball. Fluff. Those are good names. Is it soft? Yeah. Want to pet it? Yes. <gasps> it's like you clean Whoa. him every day. Yeah. He's softer than Sunny, which I didn't think was possible. Whoa. Well, I mean, Do you have to brush them? We don't brush them, we just no. clean them like every day. I would be more cuddly with them, but it's just the red eyes. They're kind of freaking you out. <laughs> They're massive. They are very large bunnies. We're gonna eat like a hamster up there. Go ahead. So the bunnies have red eyes because they're albino, which means they have to protect them from the sun. So they stay in here during the day. They have a special roof built over so that it's quieter and so that the sun doesn't get in. But at night, they get to run around and play. Isaac is wondering if he's allergic to rabbits, Maybe. to their hair. It's called rabbit hair. Like a hair? Yeah. Rabbit hair. Uh, so this is the sheep. Yeah. Sheep's Rabbit's wool. So some of the peacocks, some of the common peacocks, some of the practice compiling with small curls. Perfect. That's yeah. Whoa. You gonna squeeze? Yeah. There, there you go. go. <laughs> All right, I think I understand the process. Uh -huh. This is the wool when it comes straight off the sheep. It's dirty. Then it gets washed, yep. and it's gonna look like this one. Yep. Then it gets picked apart, so it kind of opens all the fibers. Then it gets carded, which is like combing it to smooth it out. Then it gets spun. Well, there's a dyeing process too for some of it, because it gets dyed and then washed. Yeah, and then washed. And it's washed again. again. Yes. Do you see how that one's already spun into yarn? Yeah. From over there? No bleaching, yeah. no anything. Just, Just washing. washing. You keep like removing those things. Okay, see? Oh, I can feel the oils yeah. on there. You can feel it, yeah. Oh, that would take a lot of washing. It feels washing. different. So it's all oily at first, and then they're using soap to get the oils out. Oh, my gosh, it's more fluffy. And these are the same organic plants, oh, but wow. different fibers. They yeah. use natural organic yeah. products yeah. in the area yeah. to dye the fibers. Yeah, just these yeah, plants. So just they boil them. Basically. So they're making the dye right yeah. here. Wow, that's so that's cool. cool. So oh my goodness. Whoa. So that has the wool in there. That's black. Wow. He's gonna cut you cut the tree. We just ask you for the bark <laughs> of it. And then we cook it. We Ooh. put some modern and instructions and then you get two wow. shades. Wow. Do you ever use things like those bright berries? We always try everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that one plant that has flowers and the yeah. green part makes this these colors. Wow. Wow. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. Wow. So oh, how do really you get like the different colors. shades? So it is just adjust the measurements of mm. modern. How long it's in there. And how long the time. Got Good. it. Yeah. That's like, the plant. Oh, These I are the one. seeds. And they also use this one right here. Um, hey, look what they make. You can. That's they so can't be broken. Cool. <laughs> This takes this seven, days. Seven, seven days. Seven days. So day. that's not glued, it's just yes. a needle. A needle and so the and wool. Yeah, yeah, they're doing this here. This is so, so impressive. So an animal and alpaca. Yeah. What other animals do you mean? Look at what they're doing. Okay. Look at that one. It has a Christmas hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's very cute. Yes, it's called felting. I don't know how they do it, but they do it great. I'm gonna show you that you can go eat school. There is no way for it. Yep, rabbit, wool, cotton. Come on! Marcos wool. These are amazing. Maracose. Maracose. 
there's a lot of practice to this. You have to find the head and the tail of the fiber or else you're just destroying the fiber when you pick it apart. Oh, wow. And you put it here. Oh Look my goodness. Them. Oh my goodness. Sorry, just like that. So it's pulling out each individual fiber. Yeah, yeah. Put them here because they can just blow away. <laughs> this is sheep. Yeah. So they're explaining how they teach people yeah. each different yes. step of the process. And it takes a week sometimes to learn one step of the process, whether that's the even pulling. Just picking, even just picking the wool. There's yeah. so much more to it than I understood. This is yeah. merino wool. Yes! I found the head! Good job. I can't tell where so the head is. This, this organization, Handspun Hope, they hire all these women to do this work. They train them how to do it. Then they make the products that they sell. But what really impressed me is they have a whole counseling sector that they meet with counselors to work through trauma. And here in Rwanda, there was a lot of trauma related to the genocide and other experiences, whether that's chronic disease, poverty, domestic abuse. And so this whole center is about healing and hope. The teeth of the cara starts from the bottom of the one that is on your leg, going upwards with hand motion, going up, up, up from the bottom, and you do okay. the same. That is the process. like this, look. Alright, then roll through. So that you keep slapping that you can tell it can do. Did you master it, Isaac? Like... No. <laughs> I think the slapping part is my the favorite. The slapping part. Yeah. You did it. Yes. Okay, then you switch sides and do it again. He's gonna slap it. Okay. <laughs> Ready that? I'm gonna slap it. Jeremy. There we go. So you can see that it's definitely a skill. I like this. At least he's picked it up abnormally fast. Look how she's doing it in one corner. And then she's just going to fold it for you. Because the more you're learning slowly, it comes off from the... Okay, so I did it. Oh, yes, yes, right, like that. Whoa, there you go. Okay. This is just like natural to you, Elise. So now it's all on one comb. I made my rule. You have to walk in your tail. Wow. But the it takes more muscle than you think. It does. She did it. Yay. Ah. Can I do another one? Got it. <laughs> it is, her muscles are what make it up. <laughs> she did it for me. <laughs> Jeremy tried. All right, now that we have separated and combed the wool, we're now going to learn how to spin it. So each of the kids chose a teacher to learn from. <gasps> Okay, watch what she's doing with your foot. You go up and down, up and down. Are you going up and down with that foot? Isaac, you're out of control. You're a spinning master. So they're taking the wool that we combed. That's the and pull a lot of rollers. You are going to make small size. So let's go. So you got to hold it to make it tight. And then it broke. <laughs> Did it snap off? Mm -hmm. uh, we're still learning. Whoa. She fixed it. She put it back together. Isaac's doing it. It's getting a little bit naughty there, buddy. <laughs> Uh, it broke. But I think that's just something that happens. Yarn. The yarn is spinning right here. Isaac's yarn is a little bit funky. <laughs> oh, you're doing it. Get the hang of it. He's figuring it out. That is so fine. I keep missing out. Oh, that's part of it. But look, I'm getting better. So look, this is bad. This is so good. We found your calling in life, Isaac. Isaac inspired Kendra. I gotta get this figured out. Yeah, I don't look down at all. Yeah. Okay, everyone, I know you're just starting to figure it out, but we gotta go on to the next thing. Yay! 
That's what you made. It is more challenging than I thought. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Working with people in the village and experiencing what their daily life is like. This is the kindergarten. Janae. It is so hard. She's got the weed.